Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I am very excited about today's video. I started taking photos back in like kind of seriously. Um, back in 2012, I took a film class in high school. We even got to make our own camera, a pinhole camera. Super cool. Got to process the film. Um, I had some prints. I obviously back then didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't love it as much as I do now. But ever since then, you know, I've gotten into digital. Uh, love that. I haven't done a much film at all. In fact, I've only shot like one roll since high school. But um, yeah, I just, I love photography and it's one of the hobbies, the many hobbies I have that always comes back. You know, I might get bored with it, put the camera away or get into video or get into some other hobby. Uh, like music is another big one for me, but it always comes back. And um, it's just a part of my life, I think, and something I can't shake, a part of who I am. And I've always really enjoyed sharing photos that I've taken online and work through that process. But the big thing for me is I've never really, except for in high school, when I sort of did some prints based off the film assignments that we had, I've never printed any of my work. And so recently I uh, was building out a desk setup in my in my bedroom and I wanted a black and white photo. I reached back into the past and found a photo I took of Apple Store on Fifth Avenue and had that one printed and framed and that's just a really, really cool feeling. There's something to having the tangible in a space that can be fully digital and that's nothing to knock digital. I love digital, I think I've already said that, but something about that tangible aspect of your photography or anything really. I've recently, random side note, started typing on a typewriter <laughs> at work, which has been cool. Every morning I walk in, share my thoughts on a page of white printer paper on a typewriter and file it away. Um, there's just something very freeing and non-distracting about that. But in terms of the tangibility of a photograph, I don't know, it's something I haven't really explored. I think it was last year, September, October, I decided to just really dive into photography again. Um, I was watching a lot of street photographers and getting really interested in that uh, format of photography. And so I ended up purchasing, I sold a bunch of other camera gear that I had used for video in the past to put towards the Ricoh GR3, which I'm sure you're aware of it if you're not. Little point and shoot, kind of a sleeper. Um, if you're not familiar with the photography world, maybe you're just a random person walking by on the street. This looks like some little tiny camera that maybe your parents would have taken to Disney World with you to get family photos on. So it's very unassuming. It's the perfect street photography camera, in my opinion, because so unassuming. The sensor is pretty large and it just takes outstanding images. There's great film sims on this thing. I've talked about it in previous videos, but this was my new street photography camera. I had a Sony a7 III that was just way too big. It had a huge Tamron lens on there. So I started taking street photos whenever I could. I would try to go downtown Roanoke. Um, this was last year, in 2022. Um, I had the privilege to be able to go to New York City on a business trip uh, for a conference there. And I was able to get out two times, one at night and one during the day, to take some street photography. And I actually was able to go down Fifth Avenue to the Apple Store, which was just a cool kind of full circle thing with all this photography stuff. But the biggest thing for me is I've been getting more into photography and I've seen a lot of photographers post, you know, zines or photo books or collections of their images for sale. But I just really wanted to print some of my photos. And so I had been looking around all over the internet trying to find the cheapest, easiest way of just just throwing my favorite photos from last year into a book. And I finally found one. I, I literally created the book on a few different sites, spent the time to do that, and just wasn't happy with like how it all fit together. Finally, I was able to get this made, which is nothing special. Um, it's just a hundred of my favorite images from 2022, um, which I did on a site called Blurb, which I'm actually a, an affiliate for now. So if you want to print some of your images, we can talk about this more later. 
check the link in the description below, you get a certain percentage off, which will hopefully help you get into printing your own stuff as well. I think what I liked most about Blurred, and like they didn't sponsor this or anything, I'm just sharing with you, because I, I scoured trying to find something and there's not a lot out there and there's definitely not a lot of printing sites that are street photography focused or like zine focused. It's, it's usually like wedding photos or, um, you know, if you're a certain type of photographer for families and stuff, making photos in that way or like family memories. Artifact Uprising is a great, great company, but it's very much not really for street photographers. But yeah, I think the next biggest thing was just like the UI design of the image upload and arrangement process on some of these sites is just trash. <laughs> and blur became my favorite one because just uploading to the site and arranging is easy enough. But the second thing is they have a downloadable software where you can just upload straight into that, which makes that part easy as well. And I literally, I didn't want any sort of fancy layout. I wanted to just have my landscape photos be as big on the page as they could and centered. And then my portrait photos be as big on the page as possible and centered. And so I, you know, found blurb was the best option for me. They have options for selling these things, um, which I'd be happy to sell this to someone watching. I just figure no one really wants to buy my work right now. <laughs> and I'm, I, I know I'm right on that. Um, but if for whatever reason you want to prove me wrong and you want to buy my work, let me know in the comments and maybe I can set up a store or something in the off chance. But really, I just wanted my own copy. I wanted to have something to put on the coffee table, something to show friends and family when they wonder like, why are you taking pictures of random people on the street? I wanted to show them the art, you know, I wanted to show them res the result in a tangible way. It's just so cool. I've looked through this a few times, which might sound egotistical or something, but I think the cool thing about street photography um, or photography in general outside of like maybe other art forms is I'm capturing life and things that are out of my control. Um, Maybe I'm able to compose an image really well or play off lighting really well or find color, but honestly, I'm just capturing life um, in these moments in life. And so I look back through these images, I'm looking at people and what they're doing. I'm noticing things I didn't even notice when I took the photo or when I edited the photo or when I literally put it into the printed book. There's literally an image in here that's really dark in New York City at night of a guy working at like a convenience stand thing and it's raining, people walking by and there's a lady in the dark looking straight at me, straight into the camera and I had no idea, <laughs> literally didn't know until I put it into this printed work and I could see those dark areas better. Um, so I think there are probably a lot of benefits to having your work printed. Um, blurb has been the best version that I've found to just throw everything in there and get it printed as quickly as possible um, with no fuss or like crazy templates or anything. I just, I wanted to have my images in a nice way that I could check out. You know, throughout this video, I have planned and I hope I have been sort of flipping through the book itself so you can see the images and how they look on the pages. If you want to check out these images, um, just as they are digitally, they're on my website, which I'll link to down below as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you like what you see and there's an off chance, you want to buy this for me, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to set up a store, even if it's just one of you. I will say with most of these websites where you create photo books, it's better to print more. You get the discounts the more you print. So printing a one-off copy was kind of expensive. I don't remember how much it was, but also the fact that it's 100 pages is a lot. I think in the future, if I actually seriously make some sort of zine, um, I'll try to keep the number of images down into more of a like concise uh, theme or something. But I think at the end of each year, I would love to pick like my favorite photos from that year, maybe a hundred, maybe less, and put them into a book like this, just so I have this catalog, this physical analog catalog that I can look through um, and see not only the images I took, but how far I've come in photography as well. 
in my ability. Last thing, uh, not to mention, we're on our phones, we're on our computers every day. And to be able to go do something like this, to read a magazine, to read a book, an actual book, not a Kindle. Kindles are okay, not your iPad. Um, to stare at a blank wall, to go on a walk out in nature. I know I'm taking a, a route away from photography, but um, I think these are all really important life things as well. And um, as I get older, as I'm having, I just had my second kid, um, there are just some things in life that are very natural and um, I don't know, feel more like what we should be spending our time doing. And I think the more I cut back on technology and screens and think about the present here and now, physical things to purchase and buy and um, entertain, entertain yourself, your family with, uh, it's just special. So yeah, if you've ever thought about printing some of your photos, um, I would suggest don't hold back. Like, don't think you're not good enough. Just pick your favorite images, throw them into a website like Blurb, pay for a book to be sent to you, and even if you're the only one who looks at it, that's joy enough. And I think that's what makes it worth it. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to print your own photo book, check the link in the description below. I appreciate you all. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button so we can trick the algorithm into making this channel blow up together. Thanks. See you next time.